Poverty is still the biggest challenge facing the world today. Almost 2.7 billion people worldwide live on less than $2 a day. But there's now a new and innovative way to lift millions out of poverty. It's called inclusive business and it benefits businesses, small producers and consumers. Oftentimes, the focus of the global agenda has been on climate change and global warming. While there's also another phenomenon that might be equally important, which we like to call social warming. The conflicts that might arise between rich and poor in emerging markets might start to affect the way in which business can actually adjust to the developing context. The SNV World Business Council for Sustainable Development Alliance for Inclusive Business originated recognizing that business can do more in the fight against poverty and that development, the development sector, can do more by including business. An alliance was forged between the World Business Council for Sustainable Development and SNV, the Netherlands Development Organization, with an initial focus on Latin America. By integrating both forces, the World Business Council with over its 200 corporate members of the world's largest companies and SNV, an international organization focused on poverty reduction that works around the world in Africa, Asia, Latin America and the Balkan region, we brought together two trusted networks that understood both the value of business and the value of development and in their combination found a solution, inclusive business. Inclusive business is really about taking the low-income segment into the value chain of larger companies. So that might be as uh, suppliers to that company, it might be as distributors, or it might be developing affordable products and services, targeting the low-income consumers to improve their lives. The innovation is in approaching private businesses and seeing how these same businesses can become a vehicle for development by incorporating small producers. The business cannot succeed in societies that fail. So clearly, if half the world's population is, is struggling day to day, then that is a problem fundamentally for business because business can't engage with those actors if, if they are not part of, of the economic opportunities that are out there. The Alliance has over 40 inclusive businesses running in eight Latin American countries with an estimated impact on the lives of over 450,000 people so far. We make use of our national partners in those countries, our national business councils for sustainable development, who act as the business convening platform in each of those countries. In Ecuador, the Alliance has introduced the inclusive business model into the supply chain of one of Ecuador's most important companies, Tony Dairies. The aim is to bring small producers into the value chain of large corporations. You can see here that my dairy farm is very rustic, but very practical. I try and manage it as efficiently as possible, but it's pretty basic. Traditionally, dairy farming had happened in the mountains of Ecuador, but land there is now scarce. There are many small dairy farmers in lowland areas, but for Tony, working with these small producers appeared at first difficult. Five or six years ago, nobody was really producing milk down here on the coast. The small amount of milk producers that did exist were only producing milk for local consumption. They had no idea at all about um, aspects on quality and how to deliver a good quality milk suitable for processing in a factory. The Alliance encouraged Tony to offer technical support to these small producers. We had to start off initially with very intensive courses on how to milk the cows, how to clean the cows, and how to make sure the milk arrived in good quality. My job within the company is to help the dairy farmers to improve the quality of the milk right there in the place where it's being produced, where the cattle are. Little by little, the quality kept on increasing, and now some of the best quality milk we're buying in the country comes from this coastal region. Another concern for Tony Dairies was the logistics. My first doubt was, is it economically possible to go and collect milk from dozens and dozens of small farmers? The Alliance was able to help. The solution was a central collection point. These doubts originally, which we thought were going to be impossible to take care of, it turned out to be very, very simple to solve. They would deliver the milk to us by small trucks and horse-drawn carts, but they would deliver the milk to one central point where we could analyze it, collect it, 
give each farmer a ticket to collect his milk payment at the end of the week. It's done us a huge favour. It's given us price stability and what happens? It incentivizes us to produce more milk because they buy everything we produce. And as Tony see it, the scalability of this pilot is infinite. In Ecuador, through the Alliance's advocacy, inclusive business has now become government policy. There's a, a specific ministry in Ecuador that it used to call the Ministry of Welfare. Now it's called the Ministry for Social and Economic Inclusion. So that's what it is. This, this, this topic is so well positioned, you know, it's, it's so into it that now we have a ministry. And this public policy aims at providing inclusive business incentives to create a quarter of a million new jobs in the next four years improving the livelihoods of 8% of Ecuador's population. Inclusive business recognizes the collective responsibility for addressing poverty between the public and private sectors, as well as multilateral organizations. The SNV-WBCSD Alliance has recently leveraged the involvement of the Inter-American Development Bank. Partnerships are fundamental. No one entity has the full answer. It means working through the private sector, working with governments, working with civil society. This is what our uh, idea with SNV is and with all of our partners in, in working towards fulfilling this goal. In neighboring Peru, the Alliance is working on the consumer side of the low income sector. Here, nutritional products are not reaching Lima's most impoverished people at a price they can afford. The Alliance has found an enthusiastic partner in Nestle for an inclusive business pilot program. As the world's leading nutrition, health and well-being company, we have a duty to make our products available to all consumers regardless of their social level. We understand and are convinced that the real opportunity for growth for our company is in the lowest social economic group. That's where there is a huge potential for growth. And bringing this group into Nestle's value chain means making use of their natural resourcefulness. The level of entrepreneurship in the lower socio-economic groups is incredible. If we, Nestle and the Alliance, also give them the tools to create a source of income for themselves, the potential is infinite. The close-knit neighborhoods of Lima's poorer areas provide the solution. Homemakers such as Henoveva distribute the products to friends and neighbors. This cuts distribution costs for Nestle, so they're able to offer more affordable products but also improve the area's health. Nutrition is a key issue in Peru at the moment. The support that the visitors give door to door, not only in sales but also in nutritional education, will contribute to raising levels of nutrition. I'm happy because I sell more, I earn more, and I would ask the company to tell us more about the products and their benefits. Then I'd learn more about them and pass that on to other people. I really love the idea, even more because she's a friend. And apart from chatting with her, I know she'll bring me quality products. And by targeting these 1.6 million urban women, Nestlé's market share in this sector has gone from zero to one-third of their business in Peru. Without the support of the Alliance and their knowledge of inclusive business and how to make it a reality, it would have been impossible to do it. It's a win-win situation for everybody. The small farmer wins, the people who transport the milk win, we obviously win. The country will win because we'll be able to export products and the consumer also wins because it's going to end up with cheaper products, better quality products and an adequate supply of products. So this is something which everybody will be winning. I see a great opportunity for Latin America in this regard and I also see an opportunity uh, for businesses as well. It's not a romantic idea, actually it's a very practical idea and that's what is working. If all the companies in the country start thinking of in this way, obviously very, very quickly, you can change the economy of the whole country.